Now, finally, Passover is around the corner, and while Israel is on its way out of the pandemic, the effect of the coronavirus is still felt all over the world, especially economically. And that's why this year has seen a dramatic rise in the number of people asking for donations, and charities have been working overtime to meet the demand of those who are down in their luck. So joining us with more from one such company is Shalom Zaidel of Yad Ezrav Shulami. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me, Aaron. All right, so my first question is, you know, tell us more about this Passover initiative and, and how many people are you actually aiming to help? Yeah, our numbers have exploded exponentially, honestly, frankly, skyrocketed. There's what we call, not only us, but other organizations call the new poor. There are tens of thousands of additional people because of corona, which we call it, I mean, the world calls it COVID, we call it corona, that have uh, come to our services. We're now, we were, we've always served everybody, Aaron, but we're seen a major increase of all sectors of society, which is from everywhere. The Ethiopian community, Russian community, uh, Holocaust survivors, regular secular, you know, people of Israel. And it's tens of thousands of more demands. Can you expand a little bit about how your work, Yad Ezrav Shalomit, has expanded in, in the last year during the pandemic? Well, we used to have four or five trucks. A year later, we're up to 10 trucks. We're literally doubled the amount of, of people close to the mountain. We, we serve 47 cities across Israel. We have 80 location points where people either pick up or bring uh, through volunteers and people do pick up. So we're, we're more than 200,000 people that we're going to be touching. 50,000 food baskets, food vouchers will be given out this year, have already mostly been given out and still next few days to go. And I'm guessing that it's still a long way to go. Honestly, yes. It's, a, it's, it's an amazing uh, and very difficult, um, what's the word for it? Just logistically, sure. sort of logistically way of, of being able to, to, to give 50,000 food baskets and vouchers. So, what, so what's in the Passover kit? What, what's it included? I mean, it's the regular staple items that you can imagine. Of course, it's boxes of matzah, grape juice, wine, eggs, uh, chicken or vouchers for chickens. I mean, there's, there's people in Britain who've, who literally donate tens of thousands of, of the cost of chickens. Uh, of course, fruits and vegetables, uh, canned items, sugar, salt, you know, mayonnaise, things like sure. that. Household, household goods. Household goods and people, you know, for families who need it. And uh, there are tens of thousands. Huge difference, of course. Big time. So, uh, all right, where, where can viewers go to donate? How can we help from home? And how many volunteers have you, have you expanded to include? Oh, gosh. I mean, when you imagine, like, 47 uh, cities and 80 uh, location yeah. points, it's exploded. There were, you know, m certainly more than 1,000 volunteers, that's for sure. Which shows an incredible, you know, Israeli community. Which has always been that way, yeah. as we see. You know, Yad Ezra has been around for 25 years or so. Uh, we're looking, you know, pr people to at least minimally donate a food basket, it's $100. A large basket is $160. It's on our website, yadezra.net. We need everybody's support. We're getting a lot of it, but we need more of it because, because of the exponential growth of the people who are the new poor, unfortunately, in Israel. All right, well, Shalom Zaidel, Yad Ezra Vashulomit. Again, I'll tell everybody at home, go to yadezra.net. Uh, and see if you can pitch in. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having us, Aaron. All right, now let's take a look at the weather forecast.